You listened to the devil. You showed him confidence. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. I respected your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor, and you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven. So you could never, never find peace again. Hi everybody, this is Violet, and today we're playing Grey Dawn. Um, I've been really excited to play this game, and this is actually going to be my second recording of at least the introductory segment and a, a little bit into the game, only because the first time I tried to record it, um, OBS didn't record the video, so I had only my audio. Uh, hopefully this time everything will turn out the way it's supposed to be. I've run a couple of test runs just to make sure. And, uh, we're gonna go for a new game. Um, and hopefully everything will turn out alright this time. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I don't want to mess this one up. Christmas. Oh, we're cheerful. Okay, first of all, there's a weird puppet here. David's favorite toy. It even resembles him. Oh. I'm I'm turning this. I, my, my brain. Strikes again. Oh, God. It was only a few days ago that another boy was Alan reported hurts. missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. Oh. All of them were four souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. I witness confirmed. Huh? They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from oh. Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really um. did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. Ouch. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations. Now, we Heavenly have Father, breaking news help about the me killer in these priest dark from Black times, Tower. For, you, you know, I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. Okie dokie. How vile. Oh, Badger. He who is greedy is always in want. Horus. Eating is not a sin. No, it is not. No, uh, no, it's not. Blasphemy. Huh? Um. David, can you, can you ever forgive me? Okay, I have to- Whoa! Okie dokie then. Um, I have to check something really quick in the options menu. 
I was trying to see if V-Sync off would make much of a difference. You can't see it, but there's a lot of screen there. Um, I think I'm just gonna turn it off. Because I don't, I don't know if it'll make any difference. Oh, wait. No, wait. Did I apply it last time? Does it matter? I might have to cut. I don't know. I don't want to have to cut. Yeah, it's probably worse when V-Sync is on. So. This doesn't happen. Excuse me. It doesn't happen when it's full screen. But I tried recording this game in full screen. And it won't let me. So. Forgive me, father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? We received the key. This thing was following me. Hmm. You could swear, but not even freaking out. Oh right, in this what in this, this cabinet. Um cabinet bamboo. I don't know why he has cabinet bamboo. Also grass inside of his drawers. This is us. Father Abraham Marcus. For volunteering time and effort at St. Anna's Orphanage. 25th of December, 1912. The Good Samaritan. My indispensable addiction. And a guy really likes his coffee. Also, current weather today is crows. Slight chance of flurries with a, a side of about, I don't know, 200 crows outside. Looking to be a lovely uh, winter afternoon, evening. The uh, summit of Odin worshippers has decided to visit us today. My stole, tailored and embroidered by Alexandra. Hmm. I walk the void. I am eternal. Not a board. It is a board. Alrighty then. So, creepy doll, closet weed, drawer weeds, and crows. Good start. Me and the children from St. Anne's Orphanage. Seven kids. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, me meon. Um, and then a picture of Mary with a baby Jesus and a lamb. Ugh. It begins. Okay. This place. Is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time, you'll change. Soon, your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. With fear of God, faith and love draw near. Hi, Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? I don't think he knows. That's cool. I'm gonna go look at this thing. This art project that somebody has made for us. And the portrait thingy. Okay, so I think this is just... The display for the portraits that we collect of, I think they are saints, but don't 
quote me on that because I really don't know much about Christian mythology. So, yeah. We're just gonna take a little look around and see if we can find anything. I have a gift for you. An image of Christ. What a curious gift. Okay, what will we get? You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest, and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. There's nothing really back there. It's tempting to wander off into the boundaries of the world, but uh, last time I did that, they just gave me the painting anyway and sent me through this door. So that's what I'm gonna do. Press the any key. Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. Froggies! We've invited our beloved father, Ryan Carpenter, to talk about the recent events. Good evening, father, and Merry Christmas. Good evening, and thank oh. you for the invitation. May God bless us all. Regarding these events, I think we are paying for the sins we've actually never committed. So you are saying we are being punished for someone else's sins? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. I always carry a Bible by my side. Remember the ninth commandment? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. But in this case, how can I not speak of him? So, is Father Abraham involved? Obviously, we are dealing with a monster. Fear the beast, for it has been unchained and is walking our very streets. Ooh. This, this is the sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is ahead. Be afraid. Be very afraid. The beast could be in your very homes at this instant, and you won't even know it. Very uh. grim warning indeed. Now, Father, I'm a simple man. I'm not a very religious person, and I do not believe everything that is written in the Bible. Are you implying that Father Abraham is a beast? A priest? Of course. But how could this be possible? Listen, firstly, you invited me here on your show in the middle of the night, when I could have been at church and praying for some pitiful soul. Secondly, you haven't read the Bible, so you should think about things you do not know. Ouch. Those matters are difficult to comprehend. <laughs> Such a simple mind as yours could never understand. Those are dangerous things. Wow. Lastly, I have a question for you. <laughs> Straight up insulted Who him. Who exactly do you think you are? Uh, ooh. Uh, I'm Judas Griffin. Exactly. You remind me of how Judas the Iscariot betrayed Jesus for a fistful of coins. Oh. That's exactly what you intend to do with me. Everything about your so-called midnight show is about money and rating. Oh, shit. Remember how Judas died? He hung himself from the tree with a rope of a dead <laughs> mule. I apologize for <laughs> angering you, you, Father. Doing? We have just a few seconds left. Do you have anything to say to our audience to calm the spirits? Stop searching for your missing children unless you're truly prepared. Satan has likely dumped them in a ditch <gasps> with their throats cut. Oh, my I God, I know it sounds dude. horrible, but this is the truth. Satan is real. He's not a shadow or an abstraction, what? and I'm not trying to scare you or to manipulate you as the modern people oh, say we fuck do. Off. I saw Satan. <laughs> I'm I spoke not trying to him. To manipulate I was there when he was ordained into the priesthood. Satan is Father Abraham Marcus. God damn. Dude, that guy was spitting straight fire. Holy shit. I didn't expect him to get that mad. I didn't stay there to hear that before, and now I'm glad I did. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. Oh. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. Good. Good. Great. Great.
Banana phone. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Hello? Mush, mush. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Uh. Give us our daily bread. Sure. Forgive us our debts. <laughs> All right. Well, goddamn prank callers calling my house. My god, why have you forsaken me? Jeez. Maybe you shouldn't have given those people from South Africa your telephone number. We can start there. Uh, There's something percent. strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. I don't like it at all. Why do we have it in the first place? You will find me here. Phone, two chairs, and the next room over. In here? Huh. Okay. Alrighty then. So, um, it looks like the weather inside is very froggy. Um, don't forget your rain boots if you're going out today, and your coat. Just in case. So many frogs. Poor frogs. Oh, and a bloody bed in the center of the room. Great. I know what we're gonna do to liven up the place. We're just gonna put a bloody bed in the center of the room, okay? That'll be great. It'll just, it'll liven up the whole room. Alrighty then. Um, a hare or a rabbit, rabbit, and a dead duck. A lady as well. Hmm. Sacramental bread. Mm-mm. Can't wait to get me some of that sacramental bread. Tasty. Man. A lot of people sure did show what up for that Odin convention. What is this? Oh. Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? Um... You been taking naughty pictures of a lady? Um... Oh. Why did you have mannequins in your basement? Why did you have female mannequins just hanging around in your basement? Oh, good. She's all bloody. Where, oh, death is your victory. Where, oh, death is your sting. Dang. Merry Christmas! Alright, let's get this thingy. Holy water. Holy water. There is a story Whoa. about a priest and his whore. Okay. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. It is uh, said that she was a faithful creature, visiting the church often at night to confess funny. her sins. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Later in the night, they would speak again about sins. This time, it would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Her carnal lust knew no shame. She would plead with him to touch her sinful flesh and to feel the sweetness of her lips. Once she told him, I want to feel the taste of the cross on my lips. I want to be part of your madness, uh. to make liturgy of sin, to drink the blood of Christ and to eat his flesh, to bathe in his blood, to be one with him. Um. This is blasphemy. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham. Okay. O Okie dokie. You must pass it. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. You 
were very upset by that. Talk radio gives this guy, like, flashbacks. Wow. Woo! Spooky radio time. All right. Oh, the chairs are all red now. Good. Oh. Good. I never felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had a peculiar passion about the church and about me, especially me. Right. That's a no-no. You're not supposed to be touching ladies. You're a priest. The Roman ritual. I used this on David to banish the uh, demon that tormented us for a long time. The demon that tormented you. Oh, hey! It's the puppet! What's up, puppet? Oh, you're just gonna follow me with your eyes now. Okay. Neat. You do that. Sure are a lot of pictures of friars and priests and stuff doing stuff. Alright. Oh, hey, a frog. I want the blood in the flesh of Christ. Um... Okay. The blood and the flesh of Christ. But that means red wine and sacramental bread. Um, he a hungry boy. Let's go, go over here. Because that's probably where we gotta go to give him what he wants. The smell of wine. Oh boy. Wine. Let me just, let me just take that. Okie dokie then. Let's um... Let's go give it to the frog man. Here you go buddy, you hungry? Just gonna crush that up for ya. There little buddy. Put that in your throat basket. Mm-mm. Okay, so that Cthulhu monster came and like grabbed the bed and now we can go down Hooray Let's go What is this? Um Beauty and the Beast? Are the clocks going to start talking now? Be our guest? No? Is that food? Is that a cake? Hey, give me that cake! I cannot get the cake. I want to eat that cake. Give it to me. It won't give it to me. I'm sad now. I'm a little hungry. Ooh, a waffle. I'm not allowed to have the waffle either. Uh, you won't give me the waffle. No waffles for me. Uh, God is dead. Reality is just about the material world. And then some Latin. Good. Great. I sure can't... Whoa, a coffin. That's nice. A head! Cool. And blood. You belong here. Okay. Oh, good. Another coffin. Just all the way across the uh, ghost boy. What's up, ghost child? Where are you going? Okay. Huh.
David, if you don't show yourself, the entire village will see me off to the gallows. Um... Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. And it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? Those icons look exactly like the floating ones from the shore. Hmm. Have I really lost my soul? Long is the way and hard that out of hell leads up Long to Long is the way and hard hmm. that out of hell leads up to light. Hmm. It appears to be an Eastern European language. Go towards the heavens and lay beside the Creator. It is from the Lamentations of Christ. Anastasis. In Greek, it means resurrection. In thy light, we see the light. Of course, we are blind. Though seeing, we do not see. Though hearing, we do not hear. It means the love of God. Eternal wisdom. Heart-shaped key. Hmm. Oh, a spiral. What is up there? Let us go find out what is up here. Ah, oh, this blasted Whoa. steam. Okay. Oh, I think I remember. There's a little thing over this way. This is really cool, by the way. What's up, sheepy? You're sheep, right? What's up, sheep guy? Um, yeah. Then in here. We have to defile a grave, I'm sorry. There is this thing in Bobby. And we take the Mabobby across the river to the Hooji What's It. Oh, it's the lady again. She makes me feel sad. That's the door. She is crying. I like that owl. So if I remember properly, this one and that one? No? That one. Oh, it just wants me to match the pictures. Duh. I really love to play such types of games with you. You're a bit boring as all the adults, but you will get used to it in time. Yet, I don't understand. Lotuses are like a representation of feminine things. So, I guess I can see why we'd give it to the lady. Alright, we're leaving now. Uh, okay. What do you want me to do next, video game? The loading times aren't too bad. Okay. Bloody bloody stuff over here. Good. Bodes well. That cross is upside down. It's locked. Um There's a teddy bear. And a tree. Alrighty 
then. Um... I can't believe someone destroyed this precious book hmm. just to hide a key inside. Heart key. We both know that I am not guilty. I don't really like the way he said that. This is madness. I can't even see my reflection in the mirror. Could this be real? Who knows? Only those children that you've killed. Okay. Good. Oh, I can't read that. Oh, damn. Okay. Just flip that around. Um. Oh, God. Do I really have to relive these events? I, I must prepare myself then. I must get my rosary and my stole, the Roman ritual, and the holy. So I have like three, a couple of those, I guess. I need the, I need the outfit, right? Why are you so mad at me, train? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh god, what have you done? My stole. What have you done? Oh god, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Come to the assistance of men uh, whom God has created in his likeness, and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. The Holy Church venerates you as her guardian and protector. To you the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray therefore for the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the Church. Offer our prayers to the Most High that without delay they may draw his mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Okie dokie then. The, we have not summoned the demons this time? There's something in the oven. Good, I can't wait to open it. Can I open this? O thou who art fire, and burnest the unworthy, scorch me not, O my maker, but rather pass through me for the integration of my members into all my joints, my affections, and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins. Purify my soul. Sanctify my mind. Strengthen my knees and bones. Enlighten the simplicity of my five senses. I'm supposed to get all of these to turn around to the thing, right? No. Please. Can I open it now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, dude, with your bare hands. You couldn't have gotten an oven mitt? Or like, something? Oh, oh. oh. 
Ottoment and mania should not hold such a great artifact. Don't you know that wounded hands cannot hold such poison? Do not forsake me, my lord. In thy light, I shall see the light. Okie dokie. Um... He's been a very bad boy. <laughs> I don't know how to react. A music box in the shape of a heart. This is indeed a great artifact. I must have forgotten it that night when I left the house. Be very careful. You are responsible for what you found. Wow. Okay. Why does this place look so familiar to me? Something tells me that the innocent and the beautiful sleep here. I fear that I am the one who is lifeless and not these poor souls buried here. Huh. Oh wow. That's really cool. So what do I like control the weather with this? <laughs> Aww. That's really adorable. Okay. So I actually think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here and then we're gonna pick right back up where I left off. Um we found some demons today, and we're going to do more stuff really shortly, so uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.